Good morning everyone and welcome to morning coffee break. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. It's Saturday, August 10th. I see August is almost half gone already. Good grief. Uh, currently it's 71 degrees, although I'm looking forward to fall and some, hopefully some cooler temperatures by then. Uh, it'll probably stay around 90 till November, no higher life. A high 85 today, chance of rain 1%. Why even, you know, bother? Uh, winds at 2 mile per hour. Okay, today there'll be a uh, delicious meals video. Uh, I think you're going to really like it, and you better have a snack with you because you'll probably get hungry. Yep. Uh, what's for dinner tonight? Uh, the plan is fajitas and Spanish rice. Remains to be seen until we actually eat it. Okay, and I but I do have a taste test right now, and it's Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. It's the chocolate milkshake flavor. I said I would try it, and I'm trying it. I tried, you know, the Oreos one, and it was really good. Uh, so now I'm going to try this one. Let's go over the nutrition facts. Um, okay, the, this you're going to have it with milk, so I'm going to. Do this one has two separate ones really. One was with a three fourths cups of, of skim milk, uh, and it's two percent total fat, uh, five percent saturated, no trans fat or cholesterol. No one percent because of the milk, I guess. Uh, Thirteen percent of sodium, uh, uh, fifteen percent carbs, five percent fiber, twenty four percent sugars. And then it's got 20% of vitamin D, uh, calcium 15%, iron 40%, potassium 8%, 25% of thiamine and niacin, 45% of riboflavin, 20% uh, of B6, and 30% uh, of folic acid, and 50% of vitamin B12. So, uh, you know, aside from the sugar, it's not that bad. Um, sodium's pretty low. Actually, without milk, it's only 9%, so part of that's in the milk. Um, nothing really, really bad. The sodium's not really bad, 13%. And the carbs, 15%. Uh, you'll probably work those right off, though, you know, if you're, after you eat breakfast, if you do anything. 24% uh, of sugar. I'm going to give it a, a 4 out of 5 for nutrition fact because I mean it, it does have some sugar, the 24%, carbs at 15%. The sodium's not real bad though. But you know, that I could easily go probably to a 4.5 even really because uh, it's got all these uh, vitamins and stuff fortified in it with it. So yeah, I'm going to go four and a half uh, out of five for nutrition facts. It's really not that bad. Unless you were to eat, you know, a Jethro-sized bowl of it or something like that. And half a gallon of milk. <laughs> Remember how Jethro, I mean, he would get the big old, like, Tupperware bowl. Big old bowl and just pour the whole, uh, pour the whole thing of cereal in it. <laughs> Okay, let me get some of this in here. I got some milk in there already. We're gonna do this milk. Get too much. Yeah. Let's see a little bit more. Okay, that should be enough. And here's a tip. I don't know if y'all might already be doing this, but uh, once we open up a thing of cereal, you know, sometimes it takes a while to eat all of it, and also, I found out years ago that ants, if they can get in there, they, they will, you know, they anything sweet too. Uh, so I put it in a, a zip, you know, like a gallon Ziploc bag, the, the bag that's inside because it doesn't close up, you know, and then put it back down in there in the box. Sometimes it doesn't fit quite the same as it was originally, but still at least it's in a, a bag on the inside, you know. Okay, let's see. 
see what this stuff's like. Let's take a look at it, I guess. There it is. I haven't had any kind of frosted flakes in I don't know how many years. I, I couldn't uh, I couldn't even guess. Probably ten years or more, maybe. I just don't eat much cereal. Mmm. Mm-hmm. See, it's turning the milk uh, like chocolate milk. Mmm. This is really good. Mm-hmm. It's really good, y'all. One second now. Okay, yeah, it is really good, and it and turns it, the milk into chocolate milk pretty much right away, and I'm sure that's good, too. Uh, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. I really like it. You know, I like chocolate, and I like Frosted Flakes, even though I haven't had them, you know, I still like them, and uh, these taste real good. They do taste kind of like a chocolate milkshake, but just kind of chocolate, you know, uh, kind of hard to think what the difference would be in the taste of a chocolate milk or a chocolate milkshake, you know, I don't know, but it does kind of taste like one though. So anyway, four and a half out of five for nutrition facts and five out of five for taste, and I'm going to finish this and I'll be right back. Okay, that stuff's really good. The milk tastes good too when it gets that chocolate, uh, not... <laughs> When it gets to looking like chocolate milk, it looks, it's really good. Okay, here's the jokes today. Little Henry sits at the dinner table. He reaches for his plate, picks up a chicken leg, and starts to eat. His mother says, Henry, did you wash your hands? Henry replies, no, I don't want my chicken to taste like soap, Mom. <laughs> okay, what do you call a magician without magic? Ian, I-A-N, because, <laughs> you know, magician is spelled M-A-G-I-C-I-A-N, and without the magic, it's I-A-N. I thought I'd better explain it. Okay, uh, thought of the day is from Robin Williams, poor guy. Made everybody laugh, but he's depressed all the time, you know? That's awful. Uh, why do they call it rush hour when nothing moves? Well, that that makes sense. <laughs> okay, um, where did I see the one I wanted to? Let's see. I don't know which one I want to do. Let's try this. Since they're having trouble in Florida right now, this one's about something with Florida. Which of these is the state fruit of Florida? Apple. Kiwi, orange, lemon. Hmm. What do you think? I think it's orange. That's right. Uh, the state fruit of Florida is the orange. It's been declared the official fruit of Florida by the state government since July 1st, 1998. Okay, which U.S. Pre president declared a war on poverty in 1964? Johnson, Carter, Nixon, Truman. Well, you know, um, after Kennedy was assassinated, Johnson took over office, so I imagine that would be about right, Johnson. 
Yes. Uh, the War on Poverty was an expansive social welfare legislation introduced in the 1960s by the administration of U.S. President Lyndon B. Johnson and intended to help end poverty in the United States. Okay, how'd that, how'd that work out? Uh, in the children's book, which animal is Curious George? Y'all remember Curious George? Elephant, rhino, monkey, giraffe. I'd like to see a giraffe do all the things that Curious George got into. You know, he was always into things, just like a monkey would. Right. Curious George is a children's book written and illustrated by Margaret Ray and H.A. Ray and published by Houghton Mifflin in 1941. The first book in the Curious George series tells the story of an orphan monkey named George and his adventures with the man in the yellow hat. Yeah, man in the yellow hat. Okay, what was the first color film to win an Oscar for Best Picture? Hmm. Whoa, uh, now Voyager, It's a Wonderful Life, Gone with the Wind, Citizen Kane. Mm-mm-mm. First color film to win an Oscar for Best Picture. Uh, I don't know if it was color. I don't think Gone with the Wind was. That was a long time ago, too. Or Citizen Kane. Uh... I'm going with It's a Wonderful Life. No, it is it is Gone with the Wind. I just, I didn't know that. That's why I learned something there. Uh, Gone with the Wind was the first color movie to win an Academy Award for Best Picture. It also won Best Actress, Vivian Lee, Supporting Actress, Hattie Mc, McDaniel, Art Director, well, I just keep on going on and on. Okay. Three right, one wrong. How many U.S. states have more cows than people? Wow. 15, 1, 4, 9. Um, I wouldn't imagine it'd be a ton of states that have more cows than people. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, 4. No, it's 9, surprising. uh, surprisingly. In nine U.S. states, Idaho, Iowa, Kansas, Montana, Nebraska, North Dakota, Oklahoma, South Dakota, and Wyoming. There's, but there's not more in Texas, huh? Uh, cows are more numerous than people. Wow. Okay. What is theology the study of? Art, music, religion, sports. Um, I'm not for sure, y'all. I'm going to go for uh, religion. Yeah, I mean, I've heard it said, uh, you know, on religious things. Uh, but it is religion. Theology is a systematic study of the nature of the divine and more broadly of religion. Okay. Which... Number president was James K. Polk. Eleventh, thirty fifth, sixth, twenty ninth. Um, I'm gonna say eleventh. That's right. Uh James K. Polk in full James Knox Polk. Uh, that was where he was born and stuff in Nashville. Uh, was the 11th president of the United States. Okay. <laughs> Four, uh, five right, two wrong. We got three more. What is the little dot over the letter I called? Little dot over. Hyphen. Tittle. Apostrophe. Ellipsis. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, um, 
Wow, I'm not really for sure. Because, I mean, a hyphen and an apostrophe, apostrophe is down at the bottom. A hyphen is like, is that? I'm going to go with just something goofy because I don't even know. Uh, ellipsis. No, it's a it's a tittle. <laughs> uh, the small distinguishing mark you see over a lowercase i and lowercase j is called a tittle, an interesting name that looks like a portmanteau of tiny and little. I mean, how many people are gonna say you know the uh, i with tittle t it? You know. <laughs> Okay, next question. Two more. Which rainforest bird is the largest of the parrot family? Macaw, parrot, cockatiel, cockatoo. Oh, it's got some beautiful parrots right there. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, parrot's pretty big, but so is a cockatiel. I'm going to go with cockatiel. No, it's a macaw. Macaw. Macaws are the largest parrot in the world. Uh, the body of a scarlet macaw from beak to tail can be as long as 33 inches. Wow. Wow. I got five right and four wrong. So at least this has been a little challenging today instead of just goofy stuff. What was the first song transmitted from another planet? Rocket Man, Reach for the Stars, Space Trucking, Fly Me to the Moon, Fly Me to the Moon. I, I can't remember who did that, like Frank Sinatra or somebody. Um, reach for the Star. Rocket Man, that's Elton John. I think it was Rocket Man. No, it's Reach for the Stars. It got me again. It's uh, Reach for the Stars is a song written, produced, and recorded by American recording artist Will I Am in commemoration of the landing of a Curiosity rover on the planet Mars. Okay. So I ended up even today, five and five. That's okay. I learned some stuff, and it was at least a little more challenging today. So I hope you enjoyed today's trivia time and morning coffee break if you did i hope you'll press that like button also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out everybody i hope you have a great day and check out delicious meals later on today you're gonna like it so have a great day and god bless everyone